You talked about spotting guys first team snaps in practice. Do yeah. you foresee doing any more shuffling guys in and out during games? I'd uh, rather but, not. I never have been a fan of that, but uh, you know, but but uh, circumstances dictate your situation and and for the last couple of years just trying to make sure that that you know what I learned was in my career was sometimes rather than if you if you don't know you may have an older guy and a younger guy and they both bring something to the table and if you can get 30 to 35 snaps of really good football out of both of them neither one of them maybe the old guy maybe he's just not capable of doing it anymore young guy isn't isn't mentally mature enough to do it for a whole game but maybe you alternate series and you can get the most out of them i'm always willing to do that but i'm also a fan of uh of getting those best five together and letting them roll and letting them develop that continuity that you need in the old line matt looking across the ball um, losing brian Today. Yep. You know, uh, talking to Sharif, he mentioned Eater as a guy who's really stood out. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, what have you seen out of him you know, from your perspective? You know what? They just the, those DNs. They just come in waves. You know, I mean, they they really do. Spence has done a great job. Etor, um, Daniel Joseph's healthy, and 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 you know, all of a sudden it's just like your eyes pop out of your head watching him him rush the passer, and and uh, you know, Jason Oway for a young kid. Every day you see him getting better because he's learning. Um, Etor. Etor is a man, you know, I know he's just a sophomore, but he goes out there and he plays the way, you know, I think the really, really high quality defensive ends in this conference play. Um, I may get blown up for this, but I feel like in our conference, we've got the best DNs in the country. Week in and week out, who you're playing against, who we are, especially on our side of the side of the division at Michigan, Ohio State. And to be able to go against guys that I think are going to match up with those guys, you can't ask for better, you know, better game simulated reps than going against Sharif and, and Etor. And, and I tell you what, when Shaka Tony's healthy and feeling good, I mean, it's like a blur coming off that edge. So I love it. It's a challenge every day. It makes us be on our game of tackle. And those guys, uh, you know, they're they're. I, I hate playing against them, but I, I, I love having them wearing the same jersey on Saturdays. So. Speaking yes. of the tackles, have you gotten any closer to seeing the guy separate himself between Will Fries, Chaz Wright, and anybody else at right tackle, or are you still feeling things out? No, I, you know, I, you know, like I said before, we got we got three guys that have all played a lot of football already.